Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the beautiful weather and everyone that can be here. Thank you for marriage and the way that you've created it. Thank you for Hannah and Jared and bringing them together and saving in their whole lives for each other as well. I pray that they would be able to glorify you much, much better than they would ever be able to do as individuals. And this marriage would be a part of them reflecting your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, today is actually my 393rd day of marriage, and so I didn't want to give any of my own advice, but I wanted us to uh, reap what we could from the creator and perfecter of marriage. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic power and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned but have not love, I gain nothing. And so that tells us a little bit of the importance of, of love. And the next list of things I want to read, and I want us all just to consider them in our own lives. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. 